Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So the June marathon continues. If you don't already know, I plan to upload a video every single day in June. And so far I've kept up to that task and that is the plan for the future. So if you do want to see a video every single day, then please do make sure you subscribe. And anyway, the topic of this video then is I'm going to show you a brand new product research strategy for 2019. Um, most of you already know you've been commenting on my YouTube videos, which is great. Um, Facebook have removed the info and ads tab from Facebook pages, which means you can no longer access the current ads that a page are running. However, there is a workaround. There is a way to work around this using the Facebook ad library. Um, the ad library used to be pretty useless, to be honest, but Facebook have improved it considerably since they removed this feature so you can find all the ads of a page however the information you have access to is still limited so you still or you used to be able to see how many comments an ad had or how many engagements um, and basically find the evidence behind the product because just because somebody's advertising it, just because an ad has a ton of engagement, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a winning product. You need to find the evidence behind it to ensure that you're choosing a good product. But because you can no longer access the comments, you need to look at other ways then of finding that evidence to ensure that you're selling a good product. One of the easiest ways for beginners to set themselves up for their best chance in success. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt. I completely forgot to mention just quickly, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me in this video. So if that's something you might want to win and actually talk to me one-to-one -one about your dropshipping business all you have to do then for a chance to win is simply like the video and leave a comment down below and if you commented on yesterday's video just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and with that being said then let's get back into it is to start selling a product that has the evidence that is currently selling really well right now so today in the past week in the past month so that's what the focus of this video is going to be I'm going to show you how to find the products but more importantly how to to how to actually find the supporting evidence that can tell you and guarantee you that that particular product is selling really well right now. So that's the topic of the video then. Thank you for tuning in and let's get straight into it. So here I am then on the exchange marketplace. If you're a beginner looking for any particular product, I still think this is one of the best places to start. There's kind of like two plays you want to there's kind of like two plays in which you want to start with your product research. Number one, well, there's kind of like two different kinds of products. Number one is the trending product, which is what we're going to be focusing on in this video, which is products that other people are selling. We can find the evidence behind that and therefore start selling the products that we already know um, is selling today. And the other one then is to be a company, a brand that brings new products to market that not many people have seen before, if at all anyone. And that's a completely different video. So the exchange marketplace, what is it? Just in case you're a beginner watching this then it's essentially where people come to sell their e-commerce websites the majority of them are Shopify stores so any sort of browser extensions you previously have installed will work for the majority of this store for this stores and what I really like about this then is that the numbers are verified by Shopify themselves which means all the numbers you see on here are legit so if you see a company that's performed really good results in the last three months then you know for a fact it's legit numbers and when you then look at their products you know that they're the products that are producing those kind of results. So I want to take you through the whole process and from start to finish and essentially what I'm doing is I'm looking for a listing that isn't private because any private listings won't give you the store URL. Um, so you need to find one that isn't private and we want one that has a decent amount of revenue because there's no point taking the best selling products of a store like this for example that only has $77 uh, revenue and there's not enough evidence there behind any particular product. So I'm just going to scroll down then find one that's got pretty decent revenue, 300 grand that's not bad. Private, 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 conform, iTech, 300 grand, 100 grand, private, 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 private. In fact, let's just take this one in, 100 grand. So 100 grand isn't bad um, for a beginner, then that's probably a significant amount of money. And all you have to do then is if you simply click on the list and it's going to give you a ton of different information. So feel free to read through that if you so choose. But what I'm interested then is their actual store URL. So I'm just going to go across to their store, um, have a look around and just see what kind of store it is and see if these are the kind of products that are actually being drop shipped. Because you always want to double check that these products are available um, on AliExpress and then therefore we can actually source them ourselves as well. So by the looks of things then they're obviously focusing on avocados, trying to build a brand around that particular um, fruit or vegetable. I don't actually know what it is. Um, if you know what it is, make sure you let me know below in this comment sections. 
Um, and I'm just going to look, what I'm looking for then is their delivery policy to see if they are actually drop shipping or not. So on average, orders take seven to 21 business days after processing. So that pretty much confirms they are drop shipping. And now what I'm interested in next is their Facebook page. We need to make sure we can get to their Facebook page because this is where we're going to find some of the information that we're looking for. So once their Facebook page is um, loaded up, you can see there's no longer an info and ads tab section. However, what we can do is there's this now, this page transparency box over on the right. If you just go ahead and click see more, it's gonna give you a bit more information. And what we're interested in then is this view in ad library page here. It's gonna take you to a new tab. It's gonna upload the Facebook ad library for you. And essentially it's just gonna show you all the ads that this page are currently running. You can see they're active. It gives you the date they start, but what it doesn't give you then is the engagements or the comments. So even if you click on see add details, it doesn't really give you anything of use. So what we're essentially interested in then is actually finding the products that they're focusing on and then we can then do the research deeper into them using other websites, which I'm gonna show you, um, looking for that evidence of whether it's actually a best selling product or not. So in terms of the Facebook ad library then, I suggest you getting familiar with it because you can literally just come up here and put in um, any Facebook page. So let's put Blue Crate, another common dropshipper everybody's heard of. Um, and as you can see, it's gonna give you all the different ads that these guys are currently running. And in case you find a page that doesn't look like they're running many ads, just make sure you choose um, a different country because the page might be running more ads just in different countries. So anyway, let's go back to our friends Keep it Avocado. There's two products here by looks of it, a burrito blanket. And we're gonna focus on this plush toy here because I believe this will start their main product on their store. Um, so this one here, so an avocado plushie. So next thing we wanna do then is head over to AliExpress and see if we can actually find the product ourselves. So if we just put in um, avocado, let's just put in avocado. Um, and it's come up pretty much straight away, pretty significant amount of orders, but let's just filter by the most ones just in case. Um, and right, brilliant. So we've found the exact product, which is good. It means we can source it ourselves. What we want to do next then is take the best selling one and we'll just open it up in a new tab. And we want to take the URL. So we'll just copy and paste, copy that. And then on this tab here, I'm just gonna head back into my AliExpress account, go to the drop shipping center, product analysis, and then we're just gonna paste the link in there and click search. And what I've, what um, AliExpress is gonna do now is give us the past two weeks sales volume um, and it's gonna break it down day by day. So we can see on exactly what days, um, how many units they actually sold of this particular product. Now, once you've found that information, then what exactly does it mean? So these guys, so they sold 38 yesterday, um, then they sold 26 the day before, then day before that they sold 56. So what exactly does that mean? What ideally what you wanna look for, the kind of sweet spot that I've found is in the two to 3% mark of their total orders. So if we just go back to the product listing, you can see they've got nearly 2000 orders. So 2% of that would be 40 orders a day, if I'm correct. Um, and you can see that there or thereabouts with that amount of orders every single day. So to me, it shows that there's a strong demand for this product. However, because AliExpress then is getting more and more popular with end users, and what that means then is actual people who want the product themselves, buying it themselves, not a middleman, not a dropshipper like us. AliExpress, the sales numbers aren't just dropshippers. A lot of them will be end users too. So we need to kind of dig a little bit deeper and just make sure, find the evidence that there's actually a market here to actually dropship this product. So to do this then, what I want you guys to do is open up a new tab in AliExpress. And instead of just searching for avocado, what I want you to do is search for avocado or whatever products you've found. It could be literally anything Thin. So avocado and then just put VIP on it and hit enter and hopefully then there'll be a few listings like these ones. Now if you've never seen VIP listings before then basically what they are is that when you start buying a significant amount of one particular product from a supplier, then you have the leverage to negotiate with them a better price. It's like anything in this world. If you buy more of something, then you expect some sort of discount. And AliExpress is the same thing. Once you start buying, in fact, I recommend once you start um, processing orders of 20 units per day, then I recommend getting in contact with your supplier and ask them for a VIP link. If they're a half decent supplier, they'll know exactly what it is and they'll have no problem setting up this VIP link for you. And essentially what it is then is it's another product listing within AliExpress for the exact same product, but just at a discounted price. And typically it will be something like these two listings here or this um, last one. It won't be a product of the image and that will stop other people from ordering that product because 
only you then will know exactly what that product is and nobody's going to buy products if they can't see a picture of it so once you've found these listings in for the particular products you're looking at then essentially what you want to do next is simply look at the order numbers and if the listings, the VIP listings have a significant amount of orders, then that shows you that there's somebody drop shipping this product and they're drop shipping it successfully. Now, what I've just shown you is very, very important and make sure you don't skip this step because to see the order numbers for a normal product listing on AliExpress is one thing, but unless there's the demand there and the proof and evidence that the product is being drop shipped from a drop shipper, then that's a whole new level. That that is hardcore stone cold evidence that somebody is drop shipping this product successfully if there's a significant amount of orders. Now, looking from these product listings, most of them have zero orders. So what that tells me is that there isn't much demand or there isn't much room in the market for somebody to drop ship this. Now that's not the final be all and end all there just may not be somebody who's been able to do it successfully. So there still may be potential, but like I said, back in the beginning, the easiest way for a beginner to set themselves up for success is to actually find a product that has that proven track record. And this is exactly how you would go about finding that track record. To double check things then, what you would do is open up the one that has the most significant, the most amount of orders. So this one has 180, which isn't too bad. And once it loads up, then just head over to the page, take the product URL, head back to your drop shipping, um, center and um, we want to put the URL in the product analysis box click search and again just look at the search for the sales volume for the last few days because again it comes back to the whole if somebody is selling this product successfully today and consistently for the last week if we then try and sell that product today or tomorrow and we don't sell it successfully then we know that it's something that we're doing and not the actual product and if we just take a look at the sales volume then we can see that these guys whoever's drop shipping this is averaging kind of between seven and ten orders a day which isn't bad considering they only had 180 orders and what this tells me then especially with that only being one person drop shipping this on AliExpress or one person with a VIP link that shows me that there's not a lot of people selling this product, not a lot of people drop shipping this product. So there's potentially a gap in the market to actually go ahead and start selling this product successfully. Again, it all boils down to stone cold evidence. We've seen the numbers, we've seen how many people are selling it, we've seen that the people that are selling it, how many orders they're processing, and we can use all that information up then to gather a story about a certain product and then make that judgment of whether we want to test it or not. So once you've looked at the sales numbers of people drop shipping a particular product, the final thing I want you guys to do is simply head over to Facebook and do a Facebook search for this product because we want to see how many other people there are advertising it on Facebook and then see what evidence we can gather from that as well. So if we just put in, um, it's an avocado plush toy. So if we just put that in, hit enter. In fact, let's put a H on the end of there just to make sure we don't miss anything. And typically then what I'll do when I'm looking for a particular post is just go straight to videos because most people or well, the most successful ads tend to be videos. Um, plus it's the potential for if we were to test a product, then this is inspiration of how we could advertise it as well. Now what we want to do is simply go through and look at how many people are making videos of this product. Uh, is it all the same video? Because if it is all the same video, then again, there's a there's a, there's a space in that market for somebody to come in and advertise it in a different way. The other thing we want to look at as well is how many views these videos have, because if not many of them have many views, then again, it shows a potential gap in the market for somebody to come in, spend a bit, but spend a bit of money on ad spend and just dominate everybody else. And what, and that kind of shows as well. If you look here, the story is there's not a lot of people advertising this, um, if at all spent or if at all advertising, whatsoever the fact that a lot of these don't have many views whatsoever tells me that there's probably not many people actually spending money on this product um, which can be a good thing and can be a bad thing the next thing we want to look at then is find the videos that have the most views so for example this one feel free to watch the video through to get some inspiration of how to advertise it um, but what we're interested in then is a couple of things. Number one is the actual ad copy itself, so the, the actual text they're using. And the fact they've got a short link as well, which is pretty handy because I can show you a pretty neat trick that you can do. Um, any bit.ly links, what you can do is put it in your URL bar, stick a plus sign on the end of that, hit enter, and it's going to tell you how many clicks that particular ad has had. And it's going to give you a ton of different information as well. So 400 clicks in total since it started. Um, on Monday 8th of April and then it's also going to tell you where those clicks have come from so it gives you the ideal targeting criteria but anyway back to the ad what we want to focus on then is the comments we want to open these up and we want to see what people are saying about this particular product 
um, and what we're looking again for is the evidence everything in this video I want to come back to evidence that's the number one point you're looking for evidence that a particular product is selling so we want to find people who are commenting things like just bought one or I've received mine and um, we can see a lot of people are tagging each other which is a good sign engagement is always a good thing um, on a social media platform so yeah that's the idea then guys I'm not going to bore you by scrolling through absolutely every single comment but basically what you're looking for then is evidence everything in this video comes back to evidence and I want that to be the key takeaway as I wrap this video up is that when you're looking for winning products a winning product or the easiest winning products to sell are ones that are selling right now and I've just shown you the ways in which you can guarantee that you can find the order volumes you can find the people selling them you can look at the comments to see if people are actually buying them and that's what you want then you want to build up a case behind a product find a product do your research see if it's selling right now see if there's people drop shipping it successfully if they are um, how many units are they selling per day and um, pretty much just everything I just showed you so with that being said then guys I'm going to wrap the video up any questions on anything whatsoever make sure you leave a comment down below I always do get back to every single person um, if you enjoyed the video then all I ask is you simply leave a like and of course if you want that chance to win a one-to-one -one call with me then all you have to do um, is simply leave a comment down below as well and with that being said then guys let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video so here we are then on my previous video if you haven't seen it yet please do go make sure you go and check it out I give you um, the views inside my very first ad manager account and I talk about my first sale and when I started to make a profit the first three months basically I started drop shipping so yeah make sure you go check that video out anyway I'm just going to take the URL uh, from the top left head over to the random comment picker so these competitions they go on in every single video but they are 100% random too so unfortunately um, I can't choose a specific person but anyway the winner of the previous video then is final so thank you very much for your comment um, congratulations make sure you reach out to me on Instagram then and we can get a call arranged and guys if you want to stop trying your luck and just get straight down to business and book a call with me you can actually do so there is a link in the video description down below now with that being said guys thanks again for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all tomorrow